In this video, I'm going to show you some improvements I made to my overarm dust collection system for my cable saw. I changed a few things to make this by far the best dust collection system I have in the workshop. And I'll show you how you can make one for your table saw. I made this dust collector about a year ago, and I did make a video on it. And so if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link in the description so you can go watch that video too. Since building this dust collector, it's been one of those things that I've wondered how did I live without it. It makes such a big difference that I can hardly stand to not use it. When I'm not using it, I can really tell how much dust gets up in the air. So it's pretty easy to see how much of an impact this has been making on my air quality in the workshop. After moving into my new workshop here in the garage, I've been making some improvements to my cable saw. In my apartment workshop, I have this sized for a very specific location in my small room. Now that I have a little bit more room here in the garage, I've added eight more inches to the rip capacity on the table saw. So I extended this table, I extended the fence, and it also meant that I had to extend the overarm dust collection. Since I was rebuilding the overarm anyway, I took the opportunity to improve the latching mechanism over here where the arm attaches to the main support. I designed this overarm on a hinge so that it can swing out of the way when doing things like cross cutting on the cross cut sled. But to do that I'd have to unscrew the knob all the way, then put that knob somewhere where I wouldn't lose it, and when I was ready to swing it back I'd have to find that knob and then screw the knob in all the way. It was kind of slow and not very convenient. I improved upon the latching mechanism by moving the knob from the front and putting it on top here. This makes it very quick and easy to latch and unlatch it. So to release it, all I have to do is turn the knob two or three times and that releases the arm. They can then swing open, the knob can stay in place, and then I've also added a spring over here and the spring is off center so that it will help pull the arm open and it also helps pull the arm closed after, after it gets over centered. And that just helps keep the arm out of the way. Previously, without the spring, occasionally the arm would want to come back on its own, which that's pretty annoying and not really that safe when you're trying to make cuts. So the spring helps keep it open and helps to bring it back closed. And to bring it back closed, all I got to do is screw the knob down two or three times, clamps it very securely, and it's pretty fast. The blade guard portion which collects the dust is unchanged from when I made it a year ago, and after using it for about a year now, I don't see anything that I would really change, and it's been working great. I've had a couple questions about whether I can see the blade or not, and if the blade guard obstructs the view, and the answer to that is no. If you're using the table saw properly, you're standing off to the side of the blade anyway. You're not standing directly behind it. And if you're standing off to the side, you can see through the clear sides, and it's no problem. Since releasing my video about a year ago of building this dust collection system, I've had some people ask if I have any plans so that they can build one of these for their table saw. So I put together this set of plans, and it includes everything you need to know, including material lists, there's some component breakdowns, there's one-to-one uh, -one printable templates of the center core sections to help you cut those out, then there's uh, dimensions drawings for all the other components, the second half of the document is step-by-step -step instructions to help you assemble all the components into this working dust collection system. If that's something you're interested in, you can get that on my website. I'll put a link in the description and that will take you where you can download this as a PDF file and you can either print it out or use it on a tablet. I've got a couple more things I want to do on this table saw before I call this upgrade complete. One of those being this retractable caster system, but I'll save that for another video. Thanks for watching.